Hey guys, this is Matt Skateboard coming to you today with what you've all been waiting for, the Samsung Eternity review. Um, Samsung Eternity is a feature phone, otherwise known as a dumb phone. It does have a 3.2 inch resistive touchscreen on the front, 3 megapixel camera on the back, on this side, on the right side, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, soft key, and a dedicated camera key. On the other side, you have a volume rocker and a charger port. On the front, you have call, end, and clear keys. And on the top, you have a hold button. Um, let's go over the back first. The back it feels like a brushed metal, and it looks like one, but in reality, it's plastic. Nice work on, from, on Samsung's part on this one. The micro SD slot is in the back, as you can see, so that is one downside. Not very easy access, but um, that's probably not a break or make or break decision for you. Um, the camera does not have a flash or a portrait mirror, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but if we unlock the phone here, of course, it has the Samsung TouchWiz UI. Um, also on the T-Mobile Behold and Memoir, both um, phones with great cameras. The um, Samsung Omnia from Verizon and the Omnia HD or the i8910, um, which also has TouchWiz on top of Symbian. Uh, the Omnia has Windows Mobile. Um, so this is a feature phone. So don't be thinking that you're going to be able to use email or anything. Um, if you go to the apps right here, you can see that there is an email client. But if you look here, you can only set up these providers. Whoops. And if we try to exit, look at this thing that pops up. As you can see in the middle, there's minimize. So yes, there is multitasking on this phone, which is very nice. And if you are multitasking, or if that item is that app is still open, that little mark next to it will appear. So basically, it comes loaded on the phone with AT&T Navigator. This does have a real GPS chip. However, um, it's locked to AT&T GPS, and you cannot geotag, um, unlike the Samsung Impression and the LG Xenon. Comes with Media Mall. Mobile banking, mobile email, mobile VJ, I don't really know what that is. Music ID, MyCast Weather, Pandora, Wear, Wiki Mobile, XM Radio, and Yellow Pages, which you also saw on the home screen. We'll get back to that later. Games that come on the phone Block Breaker Demo, Monopoly Here and Now, which is actually a full fledged game, it is not a demo. Uh, Miss Pac Man Demo, and Poker Demo. And one more comment on Java apps on this phone. Uh, Gmail does work fine. I actually use it for my channel email account. But if we go into Opera Mini, uh, here's where I start to get a problem. Okay, as you can see, let's say I want to type in an address. If I turn it sideways, I cannot. You have to do this, and as you can see, the numbers are very, very small. So that is one of the downsides of that. You can't really download um, apps like this. Um, I have heard that there is a version of Opera that you can download for this that's full screen. I have not tried it out yet, but once I do, I'll let you guys know. Here's another cool one. It's called Tumbling Dice. It uses the phone accelerometer. You just shake it around. You know, pretty cool. Um, the yellow pages, of course, is right there. Um, it's mobile TV enabled. Actually, let me show you the box. There it came in, in case you didn't see my unboxing. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, as you can see, 3G, mobile TV, GPS, and music. Same on the back. Um, this does come with the phone, obviously, the lithium ion battery, which I believe is 1300 milliamp hours. Uh, wall charger, manuals, quick start guide, all that stuff. It actually does come with a disc 
um, to help you that you can put in your PC. So let's zoom back in here. Okay, so uh, the music player is really good. Uh, obviously it's a music playing phone. It's actually, I think, the only AT&T phone to have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So that's another cool thing to keep in mind. It does have singular video, which is sort of like a lesser version of mobile TV. Um, but uh, the battery life. Battery life is really great. Um, you know, basic use texting, some um, web surfing, um, calling that um, I was able to get out of this battery five days. So that's pretty good. Um, if we go into the Bluetooth menu, here's what I really like. Um, most phones you have to go through a whole menu. It's really annoying. This, you just click the Bluetooth widget. Click the middle right there. And it'll instantly almost activate Bluetooth. And I just thought that was really cool. Just a really easy way to do this. Um, if we go into contacts, there's a cool little search thing on the side. It'll let you scroll by um, name. So that's another helpful thing in contacts. So, in all, whoops. Um, it's a really good phone and I'll show you the keyboard now also. Let's type a message. And mind you, this is without T9. As you can see, some mistakes. I've actually had more mistakes in the past for some reason. Um, this is one of the, probably one of the um, uh, better times that I've used this. I've gotten lots of mistakes. I have saw reviews that said this had um, a great keyboard. It's okay. It's mediocre. If you really want, if you're really not comfortable with this, you can get a full keyboard downgrade to the LG Xenon, which is a hundred dollars. Um, it does have a touch screen also and a keyboard with geotagging, a two point megapixel camera with flash but or you can move higher up than this and stick with the TouchWiz and Samsung and get the impression which is two hundred dollars after rebate but another thing in messaging you can switch it to handwriting and just I don't know why you would want to do this it's just a cool feature I wouldn't um, want to do this if I was typing a message it would take too long but um, so let's go to the browser um, just go to MediaNet Home uh, it's a full HTML browser, and you can flip to the side like that. And there is a mode where you can just, you know, just see the page. You don't have to see the top bar, and then just switch it back. So the browser's good. Um, music is good. Video playing. Let's do a little test. Um, whoops. Um, this does have, a, I believe, a QVGA screen, but the weird thing is you cannot play QVGA. You can only zoom it in like that. Um, it sort of brings the quality down. Um, a little disappointed, but overall it's pretty good. So, in all, the only cons are Java apps aren't really that good on this phone. Um, keyboard is, um, mediocre, um, hold on, I'm just trying to think, um, yeah, lack of Java apps, the camera quality is actually pretty good on this phone despite not having a flash, um, pros, um, touch was UI, one of the best UIs I've ever used. Um, yellow pages baked in, some good games baked in. Um, you can use Gmail. Um, so overall, I give this phone four and a half out of five um, because it also has the three and a half millimeter headset jack. I sometimes use this instead of my iPod. Um, so it's a really good phone. Uh, it's one twenty nine ninety nine after re mail in rebate from AT and T after fifty dollar mail in rebate. Um, so yeah, that's my review on the Samsung Eternity.
Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe or add me as a friend. Once again, I'm Matt Skateboard. Thanks for watching.